This is the video that you have all been waiting for. The RV tour after renovation. So I can't wait to show you. It has been a long time in the making. We have been living in the RV about four months now and we absolutely love it. Hey everybody and welcome back to Lining Up Ducks. This is the video you have all been requesting, the renovated RV tour. If this is your first time with us, my name is Rachel and we make videos on all things family finance and doing life different as a family in a social media world. It is a rainy, dreary day here, so it's a perfect day to stay indoors and do this tour. I'm going to be showing some befores and after of each space. We have a 2011 open range 427 VHS. It is a 42 and a half foot five slide fifth wheel RV. It's huge and it fits our family perfectly. Before we did the renovation on the RV, there were two really large chairs in this space that took up a lot of the walk path and there were a set of cabinets right at the top. We really debated on losing that storage space, but it came down to me really wanting to open the space up and make it feel a little bit bigger. So when you come up the main stairs, this is our launch area. This is one of the reasons that I completely fell in love with this RV. I had space to do a launching area for our kids. We have six of us in the family and we needed a space to put our shoes, book bags, and coats. So all of our shoes are in this area and then the girls' backpacks and coats stay on the hooks right there. Scott's really musical and the girls are starting to learn instruments so finding a place for the instruments was really important as well and so we hung them on the wall right here. Just a few steps away from the entrance area is our huge den slide. We took out all of the existing furniture that was in here and put this Ikea couch in and we love it. It fits all six of us and there's lots of storage underneath it for things like blankets, socks, or a folding table, Scott's music cases, and Maxie's kennel during the day. This is an antique record cabinet that I refinished that works perfect as an end table. All of these cabinets up here, I really thought about taking out to get some more space. They've been super useful, so I'm kind of glad we didn't take them out. So this one is all of our crafts and that's like our fort making kit. This is games. This one is like office supplies, medicine, all that kind of stuff. And this one is all of the books that we kept. One of the things that I wanted more than anything was for our house on wheels to feel like a home. And to me, that meant brightening it up considerably from what it was before and giving everybody all of the spaces that they felt like they needed to be comfortable. Right across from our den slide is our kitchen. It's really small, but it's very functional. Everything is right within arm's reach. I haven't done the backsplash yet or finished the flooring in here, but it's gonna look great when we get it all finished. It has plenty of cabinet space and drawer space for all of the pots and pans. I would love a little bit more countertop space, but I'm not going to be picky. One of the things that I was really hoping to get that I didn't was the larger refrigerator. But when this model was made in 2011, that wasn't really a thing to put in the standard size refrigerator. So we have the RV fridge, but it actually has been working just fine for us. I just have to go to the store more often. And the one thing that is good about it is when they cut the power off for some reason on the base, I can switch this to gas and it keeps all of our food fresh. I think the thing I love the most is this giant spice rack that's right next to the oven. We were having a lot of trouble getting our spices down um, because we really do love to cook. So this is super functional. I think the cabinet that is the least functional is this one down here. It has the, the vacuum system that came with the RV in it, but that system doesn't work very well. So we've kind of just, we don't really know what to do with it yet. With a family of six, you need a ton of pantry space. All of these cabinets we use as pantry space or... Look, Mama. Look, Mama. I see you. I have new hair. I like your new hair. All of these cabinets we use as pantry space or uh, I think and our, our Instant Pot is in there and then all of this is cupboard space as well. So we have lots and lots and lots of storage in this unit. 
One of the things Scott and I really went back and forth on was whether or not to have a television in the RV. I really wanted the kids to watch less television and a lot of times if they see it, there's going to be arguments about it. So this is the solution that we came up with. I had to custom make the doors and they aren't perfect, but it's definitely the best solution to the problem. The kids barely ever watch television anymore and I have been looking for a place to hang this picture for more than a year. Since we removed the existing dining room table and chairs, we had to come up with a solution for our family to eat dinner. And we came up with a hinged table on the back of the kitchen island. I don't have the legs put in yet, so right now we're using a folding table even though we have a kitchen island, there's still lots of floor space for dance parties anytime we need it. So the one of the things that we learned during the last hurricane is this click and lock vinyl floor is really heavy and it's too heavy for the slide. So we're actually gonna have to pull the floor that we put in completely out and put something else down, which is why you see this unfinished space. This way is the girls room. And it has a door that closes, which was an absolute must for us. When you live in a tiny space, using every extra square inch you can is very important. So we refinished an antique dresser and put it behind the bunkhouse door. And we used that space for our tea and coffee bar, as well as extra blanket storage and all of Maxie's food. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We make videos about all things family finance and doing life different in a family and a social media driven world. And that includes all areas of our lives that we may need to line up just a few more ducks. The bunkhouse before we renovated it was very dark. There was a large wardrobe that took up the center of the room as well as a desk space that really intruded out into the floor space. One of the things I was absolutely certain that I wanted was a double slide bunkhouse. I wanted the kids to have plenty of floor space to play in, which is really funny because they never play inside anymore. They always are outside playing. But since we have four kids, I really wanted each of them to have an individual sleeping space that they could actually have a space to call their own. That was something that Scott and I never compromised on and never wavered from. We wanted them to have an individual space. It's really hard when you're in a big family to even to have anything that's really truly just yours. So that was one thing that we absolutely never wavered on. My dad and I pulled out the existing bottom jackknife sofas and custom built the bottom bunks. One side has a drawer for art supplies and a table for them to do art on, and another side has a drawer for Legos and a table to pull out that they can put together Legos on. Although they don't use the Lego table quite as often, we'll probably eventually flip that drawer upside down and use it as a drawer instead of a table. But they use the art table all of the time. Each bunk space has a book rack and a shelf in it. And even though I'm a pretty minimalist person, I am trying to rein myself in when it comes to their things and their bunk. And the only rule that I have is I don't want to hear a complaint about how much space you have to sleep because you have so much stuff in your bunk. Previously, the only closed storage was that large center wardrobe that took up a ton of floor space. I decided to go with these IKEA Calyx units that double as clothing storage as well as stairs to the upper bunks. It creates a safe way for the kids to get up to their upper upper bunks, as well as more clothing storage than we could possibly need. Before the renovation, there was a large desk that was built into the space that we currently keep our toys. So if you watched my um, video series of how we downsized from a apartment house down into our tiny house, our RV tiny house. Um, you saw us go through all of the toys and purge the toys. It's time to purge the toys again, but this was the final product except for we have one bucket that's outside that they were playing with their, their plastic animals outside. Um, so it's out there still. But honestly, as long as it's a pretty day, they're outside playing. So we can probably purge a whole lot of these toys before Christmas this year. So the one place I really haven't done anything is either of the bathrooms. They're kind of still a blank slate. They have been painted uh, because I paid to have the painting done and you know I've, had a, I've done or Scott did a little bit of organizing here but pretty much they're a blank slate. I don't really know what to do with them. So uh, any designer that would like to uh, 
help me out, that would be amazing. So all four of our kids use this teeny nightsy little bathroom. You can see that we need to replace a couple of things. The toilet paper holder, all of their bathroom supplies fit right here. I could probably thin that out a little bit, but this cabinet pretty much has nothing in it. It's fairly useless. Um, I know I wanna lower this mirror and put a cabinet above it, and I wanna bring some color in here. I just really don't know how. At the top of the stairs in the hallway, you have your coat closet, which we have been able to get so much into an inexpensive creative storage solutions, but this is where all of Scott's and my coat and our, my purse and you know all of his keys, all of those things are stored. Here's the door to the bathroom and right there is the door for mine and Scott's bedroom. This is the tightest space in the RV and we do a lot of please excuse me, you're in my way uh, in this hallway, but it works great for us and it serves its purpose. So the bathroom is not that big, but one of the main things that really attracted me to this model was the laundry being located in the bathroom instead of in the master bedroom. I wholeheartedly can give up some of my shower space so that I have laundry in my bathroom and extra storage in my master bedroom. I, before we put the washer and dryer in, there were two nice storage cabinets in this space. Up to this point, I have not missed the storage, but I have really enjoyed the laundry. Our cabinets for our sink and above our sink are kind of a joke. They're so small, but right now we're just making do with what we have and so far it's working for us. One of the additions that we did in the bathroom that has been really beneficial is putting this cabinet over the toilet. It really fit the design of what I wanted and I found it on Amazon. It was really easy to install. It wasn't super expensive and I was able to completely install it by myself without any help. The master bedroom is really pretty functional for us. I'm still gonna do a little bit of painting in here as far as decorating goes and hang a shelf above the bed so we have a place to put a drink or to put a book at night. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. The master bedroom closet has these lovely mirrors on them and I have a love-hate relationship with these mirrors. It's great for getting ready in the mornings and my kids really love them. Everything we have as far as clothes fits in here nicely. We do store our off-season clothes under the master bedroom bed, which has a ton of storage space in it when you lift it up. The dresser holds all of our clothes that are not hung up. Scott folds a little bit more of his laundry than I do, so he has one of the extra small drawers than I do. We needed to find a solution for extra overflow bathroom storage. So I found these cabinets at Hobby Lobby that I got on, I got when they were 50% off and they work really great. I pretty much leave the bathroom to Scott and do all of my getting ready that doesn't require a sink here in the bedroom. All right, everybody, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us on our renovated RV tour. I know this is a video you've been asking for a lot, so I am so glad to bring it to you. I will do probably another updated RV tour once we've been in the RV a year, because I know things are gonna change. We'll move things around, but let me know if you're interested in kind of how we are organizing things in the RV what we figured out we need and don't need since we've been here. Just anything you're interested in about how we're doing our life different to give you some ideas about how maybe living in a smaller space would work for you as well. As always, it is a joy to have you in my home. Thank you so much for being a part of our lives. Y'all are such a blessing to us and I hope we're a blessing to you. Thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.